Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome to another deck review. Today I'm going to be looking at the new Mythic Tarot by Julia Charman Burke and Liz Green with uh, card illustrations by Giovanni Caselli. That's coming up right after this. <laughs> Hi and welcome back. Okay, this is a huge kit. Um, it comes in a massive box. You can see the box is so huge I can barely even get it on screen. Um, it is this robust purple um, creation with card pictures on the front. It is printed by Rider Books, this particular version. Um, and I must say the box is just tacky. It's very tacky. It's just a dreadful old plain cardboard box. This is what the front looks like. And this is what the back looks like. And that's what the inside looks like. There's no sleeves. There's no place for your cards. It literally just comes like this. Okay. Now, what I want to do with what I want to tell you about is the actual book. Um, it is a huge book. It's an absolute tome of a book. Um, it has got all kinds of stuff, as the usual, blah, blah, blahs. But what is interesting about this, this deck is that it is... Um, all the cards are linked to different uh, mythological characters. Now, this deck was published in 1986 as The Mythic Tarot. This is the reprint. All the cards have been redrawn by Giovanni Caselli, and the book has been rewritten. So to be very honest with you, in my opinion, this is a completely separate and different tarot. You can use the old mythic, or you can use the new mythic. They are two completely separate, um, separate entities. Uh, you are going to have to take some time to read this book if you are going to go through it, because it is quite a, quite a fat little thing. Okay, I want to show you the major arcana. You can hear by my tone of voice that I'm not terribly impressed by this, uh, by this deck. It's not a deck that I would have bought if I had known all the ins and outs about it. But um, anyway, here it is. I've got it. Um, it is a 78 card deck. It is not a pip deck. The card stock is actually pretty good. It's pretty good card stock. It's, it's not a glossy, glossy deck, so you can read outside with it. Uh, the backs are absolutely hideous beyond words. Terrible back. It's just this, this plain bright purple and of course it's got the the um, thing there. Uh, the, the I don't know what you call that thing. The copyright or whatever. Um, just, I mean, this bright purple background and then you've got these this sort of beigey borders. It's just a really, really strange colour combination. Okay, let's go through the major arcana. The, the paint, the pictures are not too bad. Um, the actual artwork is not too bad. There's the fool. Um, I hate it when the fool doesn't have a little dog. I really do. I, I, I feel that the fool card, for me, the, the, the fool card needs to have his little dog. And I get quite pissed off when they don't have the little dog. Anyway, there's the fool. About to, come, he's coming out of his cave and he's about to take a step off the, 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 the ridge, the cliff. There we have the magician card. Um... Very simple, very plain. I like the idea of the two roads going up into the mountains. That's pretty cool. Here we have the Empress gathering her rosebuds while she may. Looks more like corn to me. Um, it's a very rider weight system. Um, but yeah, the, the, I really don't know. There's the Emperor. Um, it's not a, not a really a, a... These pictures don't really speak to me. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan. Um, this is a particularly nice card, um, the High Priestess. And as I said to you, um, this deck is based on mythology, so you're going to, you can look up in the book what is what. I know that the Hierophant is the um, Minotaur, or the, I think it's called the Minotaur, um, this half man, half horsey thing. Um, he looks like a bit of a rocker because he's got that whole hey man rocking out. Um, hand signal. But yeah, here we have the lover's card. Um, strangely enough, we have three ladies there. We have the chariot. Chariot card is not too bad. I quite like that. Um, this horse looks like my dog after he come back, comes back from a walk. Um, tongue lolling. Uh, here we have the justice card. Meh. It's alright. Really don't like that check floor. It just doesn't go with anything else here. 
Here we have the Temperance card, my favorite rainbows, yay. I hate rainbows in cards, it freaks me out. I do not know why, <laughs> but I just, I, it's just, oh God, it's so tacky. Anyway, I know that many of you disagree with that because I have had comments before. No, Matthew, the rainbows are so wonderful. Okay, whatever. Um, here we have the strength card. That's pretty cool. Kind of, um, kind of like Daniel in the lion's den. Um, I think it's, I think it's meant to be one of the Greek guys that went and actually wrestled a, a lion. Here we have the hermit. Actually, quite a nice hermit card. Really not bad. Um, why the hermit has got. This kind of sickle thing, I don't know. That would that I associate with the death card. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune card is also quite nice. It's the three fates spinning their Wheel of Fortune. Uh, the Hanged Man is the guy that was sent to, uh, sent to hell and then he had a, uh, a falcon or something peck his liver out. Um, and every day his liver would regenerate and the bird would come back and peck his liver out again for all eternity. Um, the death card, yeah, all right. Little people. Nothing to write home about. Devil card's pretty cool. It's kind of like Pan leading his his little minions. Uh, it's all right. Uh, the tower card is obviously Poseidon. Um, too much focus on Poseidon, not enough on the tower. The star is, of course, Pandora and her magic box. Again, this looks so cartoony and so crap with this flippant thing in the background. That's pretty cool. But this just kills it, man. Uh, the moon card is pretty cool, but again, the only, really, the only significant stuff here is, oh, I see, there's the crab. Because we've got the dog, which is kind of like that. Severus is the, the three-headed dog, I think. The sun is some fantastic hero. I think it's Daedalus watching his son fly close to the to, um to lose his wings or something, I don't know. Uh, there's the Judgment card, blah, blah, blah. And the World card. The World card is quite interesting because it's got a male head and a female head. Um, kind of like female body, male body, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, look, I, look, I, I don't want to diss this. I really don't. I don't want to diss this, this deck. But really, look at this. I mean, come on, people. We can do much better than this, you know. And this is not a cheap deck, guys. This is like a... This is like a, a $27 deck, you know, or $23 deck. Um, and really, uh, I, with all honesty, I cannot recommend this deck to anybody. Um, it doesn't shuffle very well because the cardstock is, is kind of like thick and it's, it's just... Look, for me, it doesn't work. Um, for you, it might work. If you are into mythology, it's a, it's a deck I'm sure you'll enjoy. But to be very honest with you, this one really just sits on my shelf. And um, it is a deck that I might rehouse. I don't rehouse many decks. I, I tend to like all the decks I buy. But I did buy this deck early on in my deck buying career. And it just literally sits there. I just don't use it. Um, but I thought you might like to, you know, hear from me about a deck that I personally don't like. Instead of always hearing about a deck that is like, wow, fantastic, brilliant. Right, the new Mythic Tarot. Um, it's by Juliet Sharman Burke and Liz Green. Illustrations by Giovanni Caselli. It's not hideous, but it's not something that I would recommend you rush out and buy unless you just have some extra dosh that you want to throw about. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and I will see you next week with another review. Bye. <laughs>